moi, là, tu payes? Tu payes? Yeah. Merci. Simon Polfreman knows that his son relies on getting food brought into the prison, which provides next to nothing. He's come to the prison armed with more supplies from Australia and is relieved when they get through security. Hello, matey. Hello. How you going? Hey, we, we don't even have the thing. I know, it's <laughs> amazing. <laughs> How you going? Oh, yeah, don't get to do that very often. No. This is the first time in more than a year that father and son have been allowed to be so close. Right, the point is... Um, I, in fact, I felt the same way because I felt um, with the monarchs, um, I felt, you know, it, I've still got you, even though... <laughs> Debatably. <laughs> well, I can, still, I can still come here and see you. Yeah, I know. Um, but, you know, I, I just think... And, I mean, at the end... They haven't... But the city, Jock you know, Polfreman says he's haunted by the death of Andre Monoff. I'd lie on the bed and uh, my heart would beat and it would echo in, back into the pillow. And... Um, and I would just think about um, Andre Monov's uh, heart uh, stopping and, and trying to pump. Uh, I don't, it's just very difficult for me to uh, talk. But you get the picture. Um, mm. uh, and so now I can't sleep on my stomach. I have to sleep on my back. After months of excruciating delays, it's finally time for Jock Polfreman's next hearing. And his father and stepmother are battling Sophia's P-car on their way to court. I'm always worried to see um, how Jock will be, how his morning's gone before he gets into court. Many of their son's Bulgarian friends have come. The courtroom is overflowing with law students who are here to watch. It's chaotic. Everyone's there, except the people who should be. One witness after another fails to appear. The last hearing day was aborted when one of the judges failed to turn up. It happens again today. If it happens once more, the whole trial will have to start over. This is the second one now that they've had to cancel. It's just, it's just outrageous. We don't know whether we're going to get true justice from this system. And as each day goes past, that feeling of dread that we're not going to get there, that we're not going to get the truth out, is getting greater and greater. Eighteen months on, Lindsay Welsh has finally been contacted, but her statement hasn't yet been presented in court. I catch the plane out tonight and won't see Jock again for three months, and just knowing that I have to leave him in the prison um, um, is really hard, and um, particularly in this circumstance where the trial was postponed, um, we're no further ahead with the trial, we've got... Uh, key witnesses missing. Um, it's hard to leave Jock in that situation. And here's the prison. Dr. Polfreman fears for his son's survival in this tough prison. And this colours their last moments together. Listen, mate. Love you, mate. Just hang in there. When 
I look at Simon now, I can just see the sadness in leaving Jock in prison and, uh, and not being really able to do anything more for him until the next court date. Yes, he is impetuous and so on, but the more and more I'm, I'm with him and see him handling the situation, the more proud I am of him and the more he's, he's actually giving me some strength and courage to continue on as well because having really got to the bottom of most of the story of what happened, I think he is a remarkable young man and someone who needs to be fought over and um, to be got out of this situation. He's someone worth fighting for. So that's what keeps bringing us back next time.